Welcome to uh, BMD5, multiplying 3 by 3, 4 by 3, and 4 by 4 type multiplication. Okay, so let's go ahead and we're going to show you again, just like we normally do, a couple different ways how to do this problem. Uh, method 1 again is going to be the distributive property. So my problem is going to be 323 times 451. So I want to go ahead and split them up. 323, I want to split up into three different things. 300, 20, and 3. I want to do the same thing for 451. 3 bits, it's going to be 400, 50, and 1. So I'm going to rewrite this as, uh, again, right here I got my parentheses. 300 plus 20 plus 3 times 400 plus 50 plus 1. So the first thing I want to do is multiply the first number by the three numbers in the second group. My first number is 300, and the three numbers in the second group are 400, 50, and 1. So 300 times 400 is 120,000. 300 times 50 is 15,000. And 300 times 1 is just 300. Multiply the second number, 20 in this case, by the three numbers in the second group. So it's going to be 400, 50, and 1. So 20 times 400 is 8,000. 20 times 50 is 1,000. And 20 times 1 is equal to 20. Step 3, multiply the third number, 3 in this case, by the three numbers in the second group, still 400, 50, and 1. So I'm going to get 3 times 400 is 1,200. 3 times 50 is 150. And 3 times 1 is just equal to 3. So then what I'm going to do is I'm going to add all the numbers together. And so here are all my numbers all listed out horizontally. Now it's not real easy to add that way. So I, as a hint, say it might be easier to line up vertically in groups. So I'm going to do basically add them up three at a time. So I'm going to have 1,200, sorry, excuse me, 120,000, 15,000, and 300. I'm going to add all those together and I end up with 135,300. Again, I'm going to do the next three. That's going to be 8,000, 1,000, and 20. I end up with 9,020. My last group, my smallest group, is 1,200, 150, and 3. So that's 1,353. Now I'm going to take all the numbers in blue and I'm going to add them together to get my final answer. So you have that one there plus that one there, plus that one there, and if you add them all up, you get 145,673, and that's my final answer. Now that's using distributive property, but most everyone knows how to do it with the standard algorithm, so let's go ahead and do that now. So again, I have 323 times 451, set it up vertically, just like we've been doing on previous videos. First thing we need to do is multiply the ones place by one. So three times one gives me three. Multiply the tens place by one. So two times one gives me two. And multiply the hundreds place by one. That again is going to give me three. So now we're moving on to multiplying by the five every time. Now because it's one over, we need one spacer. So you're gonna put a zero for a spacer and then you're going to multiply the ones place by 5. So 5 times 3 is 15. So in 15 there are 5 ones, so that's what goes down there. And I regroup the 1, 10 directly above the tens place. Now we we'll multiply the tens place by 5 and add the one, regrouped 1, 10. So 5 times 2 is 10, plus 1 makes 11. In 11 there is 1, 1. And 1, 10, so I'm going to put that, I'm going to regroup that in the hundreds place, like so. And finally, multiply the hundreds place by 5, then add the regrouped 100. So 5 times 3 is 15, plus that 1 makes 16. All right, step 7. Since 4 is 2 over, we're going to need two zeros for a spacer, and then multiply the ones place by 4. So there's my spacer. 4 times 3 gives me 12, so I'm going to put a 2 down there. And I'm going to regroup that 1. So I'm basically going to write over those previous ones that were up there. And I'm going to have my 1 up there now. Next step after that is multiply the tens place by 4. So it's going to be 4 times 2 is 8. Plus that 1 will make 9. And finally, 
multiply the hundreds place by four, so three times four will be, give me 12. Since we ran out of space, I wanna go ahead and rewrite all that stuff right here real quickly. And so I have all this right here, and then we have basically the exact same order. Kind of get an idea of where it came from. Okay. So let's just add them all up, and that's just straight vertical addition. And again, my final answer is 145,673, just like the distributive property. If you have any questions on any of this, please ask your Gideon instructor and uh, just tune in towards our next video. All right, thanks.